Hi guys, I just wanted to make a longer video than the one I did on Instagram, explaining my thoughts and feelings about, you know, um, a certain million billionaire. Uh, yeah, so before I go any further, this is all alleged for entertainment purposes, so I don't get sued. But anyway, the person I am referring to is Oprah. And so... You know, this all started probably, yeah, like six months ago, five months ago, around that area. I had watched an interview between her and the Olsen twins when they were children. And when I, you know, watched it, I got this really nasty feeling about her. Um, I'm not going to say any specifics of what I think. All I can say and will say is that I honestly think she is shady as fuck. Um, I also think she's done some criminal uh, things, questionable things. Uh, and um, I wanted to get this video out here before anything happens. Hopefully nothing happens. Like, I don't want to be right. I really don't want to be right. Just because she's so influential, you know, she's so giving. Um... <clears throat> I mean, yeah. So, I do want to state that there was this tweet that Rose McGowan made against her saying she's fake as fuck, which I also believe that. But I didn't see that tweet until today. And this is part of the reason why I want to make the video because I I thought I had texting or, you know, text proof between um, friends and stuff stating this feeling that I've had for months, but of course I can't find him. So I'm guessing I did it all over a phone call. So I can't, I don't have proof. And so before anything happens, hopefully nothing does happen. I at least will have this video documenting proof. But yeah, again, I don't want to be right. So yeah, I honestly got this nasty feeling and it's the feeling I usually get towards, well, criminals. And I mean, I'm sure part of my education helps too when trying to decipher if someone is shady or not, just because I do have experience with criminal profiling, reading people. Um, I'm pretty good at like a, being a lie detector. I had to learn from a, you know, young age with having a uh, family member who did some things that are not so good. Not my, like, immediate, immediate family, of course, but I was around somebody that did some shady shit. And very quickly, I had to learn if that person was lying or whatever that person was up to the agenda, I guess. And so ever since then, I've been really good at detecting when people are no good. And there are some other famous people that I have this feeling about, but I don't know if I want to say it in this video because the main focus right now is Oprah. And so, yeah, I wanted to get this video out just in case, you know, I am right. So, yeah, if anyone else has any, like, feelings about this, please let me know. And just so you know, I didn't just pick her out randomly. It wasn't just like, oh, hey, let's do her. Let's profile her. Or let's evaluate her, you know, psychology-wise. Because, you know, you guys that have family members or know somebody that is a psychiatrist or psychologist they like to, you know, meddle in your business and just, you know, analyze you, I guess, psychoanalyze you. And a lot of people fucking hate it, as do I. My mom used to work at a, uh, I guess it was called the Karen Foundation. So, like, for people that had addictions and stuff. So, she had to learn some psychological tricks and stuff and so and she had a friend who liked to uh psychoanalyze people and 
it wasn't fun, okay? It fucking sucks. But this was no way, like, this kind of situation. I didn't just say, okay, let's do Oprah. No, I just happened to, you know, be on YouTube and watch that interview with her and the Olsen twins. And then that's when it started. I was just like, oh, fuck, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to say whether or not she has a demon. I didn't look for that. I haven't been looking for that specifically. I was just going off of my feelings to try to figure out whether or not, I don't know. I was just trying to figure out this feeling I had. And then it just, it, it just, yeah. So those that I have dealt with, with criminal behavior bad behavior, um, addictive and abusive behavior, she, I'm not going to say she's an addict or anything. I don't think that at all. I don't think it's drugs related or anything. I don't, yeah. I just think there's a lot of money involved, of course, because, you know, she's rich as fuck, but also... Yeah, I don't I don't want to be specific because again, I don't want to get myself in trouble. So yeah, I'm just going to say shady. I feel that um criminal behavior. Mm, I know. I know um those. Okay, I will also say this too. From the education that, you know, I've learned in school, you know, and my white collar crime classes, right? So white collar crime is usually those that are millionaires, billionaires, they're pretty much the CEOs and they usually get in trouble for mo uh, money laundering and stuff. Now, I don't think that about Oprah. I don't think she launders money because she's fucking rich. She, w she doesn't need to. But the point is that a lot of them a lot of them are actually sociopaths, right? And um, so the sociopath, if you don't know what it is, is pretty much uh, not having empathy, right? But it's something that they've learned from their environment, okay? So it's different from a psychopath because a psychopath is born that way. There's just something not chemically right in their brains, right? where a sociopath is, they are not born that way. It's something they learned from their environment. Um, usually those who have suffered abuse, which uh, we all know Oprah has, okay? It's what she has, you know, dealt with is very, very traumatic for anybody, okay? And I'm not calling her a sociopath, but I am going to draw parallels um, I mean, I don't know too much about Oprah because I didn't do a lot of research just because I didn't want the research to alter my perception of my feelings that I'm getting. I kind of wanted to go into this like blank, if you know what I mean, without knowing much information. But anyway, back to sociopaths, um, learn from their environment. So those that have suffered tremendous abuse, um, drug abuse, um, there's also studies where, like, if they get hit on the head and they've sustained a head injury somehow, whether it's an accident or from abuse or whatever, that fucks it up, like, chemically, and so they can turn into a, a sociopath. One example of that is that, um, through studies, they believe Richard Ramirez, aka the Night Stalker, that could have been part of how he became a sociopath. And if you don't know who Richard Ramirez is, go and watch my video on the Night Stalker. Um, it's a two-parter, but yeah. So yeah, you can get head injuries that could just, you know, mess you up. And um, obviously he had other things going on for him, like um, his, I don't know if it was, I forget if it was his cousin, killed his wife in front of him um, or how he showed him pictures from when he was in 
the military or Vietnam War. I don't remember, honestly. It's been a long time since I've, you know, gone through that case. But showing him, like, mutilated, dead people, tortured people, yeah, that's gonna fuck up your psyche. Um, so Oprah, we know she had been abused as a child. And so usually, not all the time. I shouldn't say usually, that's bad to say. So um, I would say a decent percentage, okay, of those that have sustained sexual abuse, right, tend to, well, warps up their mind and stuff, but it tends to carry on through them too in some fashion so whether they abuse somebody else um or uh murder i don't think she's killed anybody obviously um i don't know what are other things just physical abuse just like not even sexual abuse itself too but like it could carry on into many forms of abuse whether it's physical or you know uh psychological there's just some things that happen and i don't want to put labels on her at all and again this is all alleged but i'm just trying to explain like sociopaths and stuff um i don't know if she's a sociopath i i haven't like analyzed a bunch of her videos i should uh it's good practice but i just wanted to share my feeling really oh and the thing about white collar crime right because i kind of just went off on my tangent so sociopaths a lot of them are sociopaths and the thing is the joke of the whole uh what do you call it the criminal justice or um true crime that's what i was trying to go for um you ever hear the saying pillar to killer well while it is kind of funny because it rhymes a lot of that is true so like these people that are in white collar jobs right they're laundering money and all that stuff and a lot of them get away with it for a very long time but why because a lot of them are sociopaths and what does that mean? Well, they don't have the empathy, so they don't give a fuck who they screw over, right? And then, if you notice, so like, a lot of them, because they're sociopaths, they are really good at mimicking emotions and motions of empathy. They're really good. They don't feel the empathy, but they can pretend and mimic that. And it can make them look very charming. And it's then easy for them to be very manipulative, right? And um, I'm trying to think of other examples, like TV related, that people might like be able to think, like be able to associate and like understand this better. Um, what is a good example? I don't know, Dexter kind of comes to mind. I mean, he's not a millionaire, but he, um, and I haven't watched a show enough, so I, either he's a sociopath or a psychopath. I don't know the past, but one of them, because the psychopath can also mimic empathy and put on um, emotions as a show, and he's really charming and He's easy to get along with and people just tend to like him. And that's what happens with these white collar criminals. They are, um, I don't know, they're just very charming and they could literally get you to do anything just because they're, they're just sweet talkers. And how do you think they got all that money? that they've got other than, you know, being high pos like position, but that's not the point. Like, cause they're doing money related crimes. They can screw anybody over. They don't like, 
because they don't care. They can sweet talk anybody pretty much out of like a million dollars and they wouldn't think twice. And the person without realizing it won't even realize what's happening because they're just so into like the mesmerization of the person that's conning them. So yeah, that's my little lowdown on white collar crime. Uh, but back to Oprah, I know she's a millionaire, billionaire, whatever. Um, I don't think she's doing money crimes, but I'm just saying the parallel of how they're, a lot of them are sociopaths because how do you think they got the money in the first place? The, a lot of emotions that it takes to get there. Um, a normal person, I would say, a normal person, there are just some things that they cannot do, that they wouldn't compromise friends or family to just be rich, like, but they're, but for a sociopath, it's really fucking easy. So yeah, that's what I just wanted to say about that too. So do I think she is a sociopath? My vibe feeling that I'm getting is that there's a high chance that she could be. And that, again, this plays into what Rose McGowan said. Um, about her being fake it makes sense i'm not saying that she's right but if it were true it makes absolute sense so i mean with everything that she's gone through which is horrible again um yeah that's all i'm gonna say because now i just lost my train of thought so yeah if you guys have any thoughts, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Sorry, this video is more of a mobile video. Uh, I just wanted to say it because it's, it's just what I've been thinking about. And usually when I, you know, I just want to put down anything that I think about while I'm thinking about it before I forget it. So yeah, and again, I'm going to say this again. This is all alleged for entertainment purposes. So don't sue me for slander. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well out there. I know the whole Delta variant is kind of like running rampant. 